Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about shifting property of Z transform. And shifting property of Z transform states that if Z transform of X of N is X of Z, then Z transform of X of N minus M will be z to the power minus m into x of z and z transform of x of n plus m will be z to the power plus m into x of z so if a uh, if a constant or if a number m is shifted by m unit or delayed by m unit from the variable n then z to the power minus m will be multiplied with x of z and if it is added or you can say advanced by m unit then z to the power minus m sorry z to the power plus m will be, will be multiplied with x of z so this is shifting property of z transform so let us prove this property now from the z transform formula we know z transform of x of n is x of z which is summation n is equal to minus infinite to infinite x of n z to the power minus n <coughs> now our new function is new function is x of n minus m so z transform of x of n minus m will be summation n is equal to minus infinite to infinite x of n minus m z to the power minus n now assume n minus m is equal to p let us assume n minus m is equal to p then what happens n will be equal to p plus m now again if n tends to infinite p tends to infinite if n tends to minus infinite p tends to minus infinite so this can be written as our formula or our function can be written as summation p is equal to minus infinite to infinite x of p z to the power minus put p plus m in place of n p plus m so again this can be written as summation n is equal to minus infinite to infinite x of p z to the power minus p dot z to the power minus m now this holds the formula for z transform sorry this is p the variable is p p is equal to minus infinite to infinite x of p z to the power minus p can be written as x of z and this one is z to the power minus m hence it is proved in the same way we can prove the second property of shifting and that is x of n plus m z transform will be z to the power plus m into x of z so let us prove this one again z transform of x of n is equal to x of z which is summation n is equal to minus infinite to infinite x of n z to the power minus n now our new function is x of n plus m which is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinite to infinite x of n plus m z to the power 
minus n. Now let us assume n plus m is equal to the new variable p. So n will be equal to p plus m. And if n tends to infinite, of course p tends to infinite. And if n tends to minus infinite, p tends to minus infinite. So we write the formula with variable p. p is equal to minus infinite to infinite x of p z to the power put p plus m in place of n. So sorry sorry this one will be p minus m. So this will be p minus m negative. So this can be written as p is equal to minus infinite to infinite x of p z to the power minus p dot z to the power plus m. Finally, p is equal to minus infinite to infinite x of p z to the power minus p z to the power plus m where this one is the x of z or z transform function z to the power plus m hence it is proved so with this simple method we can prove the shifting property of z transform now let us see one numerical on z transform property <coughs> shifting property of z transform or you can say how to solve a numerical using shifting property of z transform question is x of n is equal to u of n minus 2 determine the z transform for the given function now u always refer for step function we use u for step function unit step function and the basic unit step function is u of n which is equal to 1 for n greater than or equal to 0 and is equal to 0 for n less than 0. So how to solve this question? We know u of n z transform is z by z minus 1. This we have already discussed in our first class of the Z-transform or the previous class of the Z-transform where we have solved one question a to the power n u of n has a Z-transform is equal to Z upon Z minus a. This we have already discussed or we have already proved. So with the same method u of n can be written as 1 to the power n u of n and the z transform will be z upon z minus 1. So what will be the z transform of u of n minus 2? According to the shifting property of z transform, it will be the original z transform of u of n, z upon z minus 1 multiplied with z to the power minus 2. Which can again be solved as z to the power minus 1 by z minus 1 or you can say 1 by z into z minus 1 is the z transform of u of n minus 2. So in this way we can determine the z transform of any discrete time signal with the help of z transform property. Thank you.